After splitting and positioning my audio and introductory video on the timeline, I can place the opening graphics and title and set their timing. Okay, so now that I have my intro outro here, I'm going to go back to the very beginning and I'm going to select my graphics one track. And I have a graphic here that I've used for that. Sometimes they're a little bit more sophisticated. This is an older video. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that in. There is a default duration. I want this to last the entire length of this intro paragraph. So I'm just going to drag it over and it will snap to the marker. Make sure that your magnetic snapping is turned on. That'll be lit up if it's on. Now I know I'm going to have a title up here for the video title. Sometimes I have the video titles in the graphics. Sometimes I don't. More times than not, I will actually use a title track because uh, a lot of times I want the title to come in as I'm talking. So I'm going to go back to the beginning of the video. And now I'm going to just take a scan, make sure nothing else is selected. I'm going to hit the T. And I'm just going to leave. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll size it down just a little bit. This isn't a final production copy. So before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and hit the OK. Get the playhead out of the way. And we'll pull this over till it snaps. All right, so now I'm going to right click that and edit the title. And And then select the text. This is a 1611 book, so I'm going to go back and get an appropriate font, which is going to be the Old English. I wish I could type the name of the font in there and it would just find it and bring it up like other programs do. It doesn't do that. That's one of the drawbacks. So I want Old English text. I'm just for fun going to go to a shadow here. I'll go over all this later. For the shadow, I'm going to pull it down here. I want a black shadow, even though it's on a black background. It's still going to give it some relief. Hit apply. This video isn't about the text, so I'll cover text later. I'm going to double click the size. Put in the size that I usually work with. And then I'm going to go back up. And change the face color. I think probably a and apply that. That's not really going to matter right now. It's close to what I had in the original. All right, so I've got the text set and everything. And I'm not going to worry about the look of this right now. I do have to adjust the graphic here in a second, but I will play this and adjust the timing on this. I'm not going to use a transition right now. No discussion of Bibles would be complete without a review of the King James Version. Put that about right there, and I'll talk about timing a little bit more later. Okay, so here on the graphic, I want to right-click that and go to Scaling. I want that to fill. All right, so at this point, I have my intro laid out. I have my audio set and everything. So the next stage is going to be listening to the audio while I'm reading the script. I'm going to lay markers on the timeline, and then I'm going to start building my titles. And I'm going to start off with what I call a title template, and I'll go over that here in the next sequence that I do. With the intro elements in place, I'm going to put markers on the timeline. Once markers are set, I'll create title templates for text and graphics.